Hello everyone. I am back with the third part of the chapter Deep Water, which is written by William Douglas, and it is an autobiographical note. Let us quickly recapitulate what we have learned till now in last two videos. We have seen the narrator is impassionate about water sports. Therefore, he wanted to join YMCA pool where he could learn swimming. And uh, at the instruction of mother that not to go to Yakima River, he had taken this decision. In YMCA pool, he was having wonderful time because instructors were there. The pool was very safe because of its uh, shallow depth, and other students were also there, looking at whom he was learning very nicely. And because he was very much passionate, one day he had gone bit early in the swimming pool, but there was a boy who was having something something evil in his mind, and he threw the narrator in the YMCA pool. After that, the narrator did not give up easily. He tried to come out, but he even though he had made the plan, he could not execute it. That is why he had become senseless, and he thought that he was dead. At that point of time, he thought that he was engulfed by mother. He was experiencing the peace which we get when we engulf, when we hug our mother. Let's move ahead and see whether the writer was able to defeat his fear or not. I crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell. The next I remember I was lying on my stomach beside the pool, vomiting. The chap that threw me in was saying, but I was only fooling. Someone said, the kid nearly died. Be all right now. Let's carry him to the locker room. Several hours later, I walked home. I was weak and trembling. I shook and cried when I lay on my bed. I could not eat that night. For days, a haunting fear was in my heart. The slightest exertion upset me, making me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach. Here, the narrator becomes unconscious and he accepts his death. That is why he says the curtain of life fell. He considers himself as dead. He gave up in the hands of death. But fortunately, William Douglas was saved by the institution members and the boy who threw him, who did the bullying, he was thrashed by almost everyone. Now here, somehow his life was saved and after hours of um, resting, he goes back to his home. But this terror did not leave him alone. It, re it reminded him of the incident that happened in YMCA pool now and then. Okay, for days it was haunting him and he thought that he should give up going to water and he had become so timid, he had become so scared that even slightest movement made him troublesome. Okay, his mind was not stable at that point of time because of this terrible incident. I never went back to the pool. I feared water. I avoided it whenever I could. A few years later, when I came to know the waters of the caskets, I wanted to get into them. And whenever I did, whether I was wading the Titan or pumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rocks, the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back. It would take possession of me completely. My legs won't become my legs would become paralyzed. I see horror would grab my heart. Students, here William Douglas had become very disappointed because he was not able to go to YMCA pool because he feared water and this was um, natural that after having that incident he would not have gathered nobody would have gathered courage to go back again. So, being in the grip of fear, even on growing up, Douglas found himself unable to enjoy canoeing, boating and swimming. 
Neither the fishing trips nor bathing in warm lake afforded him any joy. He continued to be haunted by the icy horror that he had experienced in this pool. Cascade is a waterfall you can see in the picture. And uh, students, this is Titan River which is very famous for rafting and camping as well. And it is a tributary of the Natchez River which flows in Yakima County, Washington, U.S. But that is mentioned out here is Bumping River. This is also a tributary of the Natchez River, Washington, U.S. And uh, students, I'll tell you that in the name of William O. Douglas, there you will find a wilderness or a forest. Okay, and this river flows through that. Bumping River flows through William O. Douglas Wilderness, which is shown in the picture right now. And people prefer this who is very much interested in uh, uh, walking in the water or paddling in the water. And the students, another water body is warm lake and as its name suggests it is warm and people prefer it for swimming and even children enjoy out here and for your information let me tell you this is the largest lake in Boise National Forest okay, which is in United States and it is uh, very much famous for it camping fishing and hunting students right now in the picture you all can see goat rock wilderness or forest which is extremely famous for hiking and the name has uh, been given to this place because of the numerous mountain goats which are found here which are reared here because of suitable climate students after the incident of ymca pool he could not go anywhere because he had become extremely extremely weak and feeble because of this incident and he had become scared as well and sometimes he tried to go near to the water with his friends but he had experienced that he was totally in the grip of fear let's move ahead this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in canoes on main lakes fishing for landlocked salmon bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing on the destutes and metolios in oregon fishing for salmon on the columbia at bumping lake in the cascades wherever i went the haunting fear of the water followed me it ruined my fishing trips deprived me of the joy of canoeing boating and swimming students the fear of water had made william douglas disabled okay and uh, he was facing lots and lots of obstacles in the way of happiness and his happiness was nothing else than water sports like boating fishing uh, rafting etc so what he did um, first of all he realized that he is devoid of all this happiness of fishing swimming and rafting etc etc he tried to go to different places but this fear he could not diminish so he tried to solve it by planning students salmon trout and bass all these are variety of fish okay and uh, main new hampshire metallius oregon destutes columbia etc are name of the places let's move ahead i used every way i knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip finally one october i decided to get an instructor and learn to swim i went to a pool and practiced five days a week and are each day the instructor put a belt around me a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool hour after hour day after day week after week students 
The degree of terror that the YMCA pool misadventure caused was so intense that Douglas could not get over it without professional help. So he therefore engaged an instructor to do the needful. The fear which he had, it should be erased completely. In order to do that, he kept an instructor and he wanted he started practicing regularly. This decision was a wise decision as it helped him conquer his phobia of water completely. So here we get to see that he his ardent desire to deal with his fear. Had, had there been somebody else, they would have given up. They would have uh, been back to the normal way of life. But it was William Douglas. He was not an ordinary person. Therefore, he said that the problem is being caused by uh, this fear. He should diminish it. He tried by himself. He could not uh, clear it all right, from his heart and mind. Now, he engaged an instructor. So, he started doing, he practiced regularly, very religiously. So, let us see what will be the outcome. Students, Realizing Douglas' mortal fear of water, the instructor devised a very wonderful way to help him out. What he did, he attached a rope to the belt worn by William Douglas, which went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable. Holding the end of the rope in his hand, uh, the instructor made Douglas go back and forth in the pool without any acute sense of fear. Next, he taught him breathing techniques and different swimming styles. So here, what do we see? The instructor made sure that even if he will get inside the water, he is not going to die. Somebody is there to support him and that is rope which is attached with the pulley. Okay, so it the control is in the hand of instructor. Whenever he will feel that he is drowning inside the water, he will um, pull the uh, rope back. Okay, and then this is how he was trained. He was uh, made to go inside the water. Then he was asked to come out and he was taught breathing techniques as well to inhale when he is out of the water and um, go inside the water. Okay, and then again he will come out and he will excel. So, that is the technique he had taught him. Not only that, the swimming styles as well. Okay. Students, one thing we must notice out here is that in order to shine, even a raw diamond requires polishing. Without polishing, you will not like diamond. It is because it will look very weird. Okay, so here with the help of teacher who was very resourceful, okay, and the student who was very talented, with the cooperation and collaboration, they could make a fruitful result. Now here we see William Douglas practiced religiously following instructor's guidelines. And finally, he was ready after a couple of months. On each trip across the pool, a bit of the panic seized me. Each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope, I went under. Some of the old terror returned and my leg froze. It was three months before the tension began to slack. Then he taught me to put my face under water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale. I repeated the exercise hundreds of times. Bit by bit, I shed part of the panic that seized me when my head went under water. Students, after a painstaking training of more than six months, Douglas was gradually equipping himself with all the techniques like uh, inhaling, different uh, water strokes, different uh, use of different uh, equipments, okay, and the breathing techniques so finally he was ready with everything now he had become very confident and 
the terror the fear that he had in his mind and heart regarding water that also was getting lesser in amount okay it had it was becoming miniature next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs for weeks i did just that at first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed and finally i could command them thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole in april he said now you can swim dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke i did the instructor was finished here i'd like to show a short video of a famous movie kung fu kids okay here uh, you will see the repetition of same thing is done it is because unless and until we repeat the same thing we are not going to perfect the action all right so the same thing was done by william douglas as well all right whatever was taught by instructor first example is kicking by his legs then maybe uh, using his hands okay then finally the instructor said he was ready as a swimmer and he can explore any water body uh, he feels like and uh, here we find the narrator was very patient in learning each and every technique minutely you must have seen movie mary com where we find the girl is waiting for several days okay to learn boxing from the instructor but she was asked to wait all right this is you know the, this was the test of her patience because in a sport or in learning anything it is not going to happen the very next day we have to be very patient be it uh, the task of william douglas or be it task of we ourselves any task will require time okay to give fruits so we need to be very patient and instructor did that the instructor was finished but i was not finished i still wondered if i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool i tried it i swam the length up and down tiny vestiges of the old terror would return but now i could frown and say to that terror trying to scare me huh well here is to you look and off i would go for another length of the pool students having been coached for 6 months douglas was still apprehensive he was still fearful about swimming all alone in the pool so he practiced for 3 more months altogether 9 months 6 plus 3 now douglas um, after practicing he was sure that there is no fear left in him okay now he could challenge even the terror even the fear okay now here we find the, the literary device personification where he challenges terror this went on until july but i was still not satisfied i was not sure that all the terror had left so i went to lake wentworth in new hampshire dived off a dock at triggs island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island i swam the crawl breast stroke side stroke and back stroke only once did the terror return when i was in the middle of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water the old sensation returned in miniature i laughed and said well mr terror what do you think you can do to me it fled and i swam on students he was all ready now but he wanted to test whether he was perfectly trained or not so what he did uh, he started plunging into the pool all by himself and was able to overcome even the slightest stresses of fear after that he went to different water bodies okay remember students 
if you pass in one examination it does not mean that you have cleared other examinations as well for another examination you have to read more you have to upgrade more isn't it the same thing william douglas did here he could uh, swim in lake but he wanted to try whether he is able to swim in other water bodies or not therefore he went to different water bodies lake river um cascades that is waterfall okay and he tried all the strokes different strokes of swimming and uh, everything he tried he was ready now and then he said that even the slightest fear that was remaining in miniature that is in a small form that also got scared and it fled away from his mind okay so finally he conquered his fear of water dear students we will continue our final part of the video in next one till the time just let me know whether the video was clear to you all or if you want me to rectify anything if you want me to clear anything just let me know and uh, i wish you will drop a message and like and share my video and subscribe my channel thank you